Another day on the water with the fully kitted out pontoon. Out here again for bass today. I actually have my new fly rod that I'm going to try to use with some poppers to go for some really just anything that bites. And I'm hoping I can map some of these things. Let's start getting the contour of this lake. There's a lot of weeds down there. It's about 16 feet deep. Lots of weeds. New fly rod. I had it on my Instagram if you're following. Fish and Forge. It's a TFO NXT Black Label. Oh, it's a five weight, so it's slightly lighter than my last fly rod. And I just got a little popper on, a little orange popper. I did bring my spinning rod for bass as well. It has an underspin on it with this swim bait, so if all else fails, we can try that. All right, let's test this bad boy out. Oof, that is super silky smooth. All right, it might be too early for top water. <laughs> this rod casts super nice. Like, very noticeably nicer than the other rod. And I think a lot of it has to do with the fly line that's on it. I think this is a much better quality fly line overall. But let's try to throw some underspin and stuff. Try to get some, some fish to bite. I don't think they're gonna bite top water. It's still pretty early in the season. In fact, it's still winter, <laughs> but I figured I'd give it a shot. So now let's try some real bass gear. Not that that wasn't real, I was just not too hopeful for uh, winter bass. Looking good. Oh, dang, I had a fish. Maybe it's just the bottom. It fought a little bit. Uh, maybe not. Got some weeds. Evidence suggests it was the bottom. Got him out of water, but I'm not sure what he's gonna do now. Looks a little beat up. Poor little guy. Yeah, you look, you look like you've had better days, buddy. I'll put you right here. There you go, bud. Just gonna be a little passenger for a little while. Put him on a nice dark spot so he gets all roasty toasty. Maybe he'll wake up and fly away. Oh! Oh, what was that? Fish on! Ooh! He's a bigger one too. Holy cow. What do I got? <laughs> Ooh, wow! He's a bigger fish. What is this? Oh, that's a big bass. Holy cow! Jeez! <laughs> Okay, yeah, um, that's my PB bass. Holy crap.
shit. Look at that guy. Holy crap, that's a tank. Winter bass. Winter bass, boys. Holy crap. I gotta get a weight on him. Three point six four. Three and a half pound bass. Look at that. What a tank. <laughs> that is the biggest bass I've caught. 3.64 pounds. All right, let's get a nice release. Whenever you're ready, lady. See you later. <laughs> Holy sh I did not expect that. <laughs> <laughs> I think she came she swiped at it twice she came just on this underspin with this nice white swim bait on it just cre she smacked it once and I was like oh I thought it might have been a log or something and then she came back and just annihilated it <laughs> wow yeah it was, today it was kind of going a little slow I was thinking about leaving you know and of course all it, need, all it takes is that one that one fish. Nice fish, too. Not as big as John's, but close. Coming for you, John. That was awesome. Holy crap. I did not expect to catch a fish that nice today. Uh-oh. The bee's gone. I hope she's okay. I wasn't paying attention. I caught a fish. We are going to call it for today. That was a great day out in the water. I got to test my new fly rod out, which is really cool. Super smooth. I'm very excited to go do some serious trout fishing on that actually potentially tomorrow that's that's a potential plan other than that we caught that huge bass super super stoked about that did not expect a three and a half pound bass today it's like still winter time i mean the sun and obviously the weather looks looks like spring but it is still technically winter so that was like a, a late winter bass and in washington like Three and a half pounds is, is pretty legit, but that won't be the last time. I'm, I'm definitely gonna come back out here and chase some more when it gets warmer and uh, spring rolls around. The temperature is 50 degrees in the water, so it's still pretty cold, but they're just now starting to wake up. But yeah, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. So it was a quick little outing today on my pontoon. I hope to see you next time. If you haven't yet and you enjoy fishing content, definitely think about subscribing. I release content every week, so be on the lookout for that. As always, comment below what you think. If you like this video, if you want to see more, definitely let me know and like it because it helps me with the algorithm and all that fun stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna get off the water and head out. You guys take care and I'll see you next time.